Hey you guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a bit of a mixture really. It's kind of a testing video. It's kind of a full face of first impressions, but it's not a full face of first impressions and they're not all first impressions. So basically I'm gonna be chucking a ton of top makeup on my face. Some things are new, some things are not so new. So let's get into the video. So as we all know, Tarte recently came out with their very controversial new foundations. I did do a full review on these, so I'll make sure I leave a link to it down below. I tried one on one side of my face and one on the other. And halfway through that video, I thought to myself, I wonder what they'll be like together. And a few of you asked me to try that as well. So today I'm gonna be mixing these bad boys. So I've just got my little coaster here and I'm gonna take a few little swabs of that. I hate the word swabs. I don't know why, but it makes me feel like, Ooh. So that one there was the hydrating one. I'm now gonna take the matte one. Get a couple more swabs out of there. There we go. So we've got three little dofoots of the matte one and then three of the hydrating one as well. So I'm just gonna mix my little sponge in there, mix the two together. Cause I was thinking that the two mixed could potentially be like a banging foundation. So let's give it a go. And don't worry, I know this is too dark for me, but my concealer that I'm gonna be using is a fair bit lighter. So I do tend to lighten it up then. But to start off with, we're gonna be looking a little crazy, very crazy actually, because my fake tan is fading. And right now this is, it's not a match. This is, yeah, no. And if you're wondering, the shade that I have in both the foundations is Medium Tan Honey, I think. Yeah, Medium Tan Honey. Okay, we really need to lighten this up. I could probably even use this as like a goddamn contour. By the way, I'm not sure if any of you will be able to notice, but I'm trying something different with my camera today. I, if, you're, if you know anything about cameras, I've basically upped the aperture a bit, so it's not gonna be as like blurry in the background, but it means that I won't be as blurry if that makes sense. So it just kind of means that I'll be in focus a little bit more, more of the time. So hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see more of what's going on. This is such a crazy color for me right now. But I've gotta say, I am liking how it's looking on my skin. So basically, spoiler alert from my full foundation review, I liked some parts about the matte one and I liked some parts about the hydrating, which is why I thought to myself, maybe I'll really, really love it if I put them together. And I've got to say, I actually really like how it's looking so far. Apart from the color, just ignore the color for a minute because we're gonna sort that out, I hope. I know it's not ideal and it's definitely not a cheap way of doing things, but I actually think I prefer how this looks when you mix them together. So next I'm gonna go in with my shape tape, which you all know is not new to me at all. I have mine in the shade light neutral. So this is where we can kind of, first of all, try and not get it in our hair. So this is where we can really start to lighten everything up. I'm gonna go pretty ham with this. I'm gonna go over these little blemishes that I have. I just had like a ton of extractions done and my skin's now looking a bit crazy from it. So I wanna cover that up. Literally painting my face with concealer right now. But it's gotta be done. I mean, I literally, th I've literally just painted m my entire face with concealer, haven't I? And I'm continuing to do that. Put the concealer down, Steph, put it down. Then I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna just blend all of that in. You can really see that starts to like brighten everything up a little bit more. I'm almost like reverse contouring with this. I don't know if reverse contouring is a thing, but if it's not, I just made it a thing. And so I'm putting on like a darker foundation and then going over the top with a lighter concealer. And then because I've not really put it here, as I'm blending it out, it does just make me look a little bit more sculpted. Bullshit your way through that one, Steph. Okay, that's a bit better. Is it? Is it? It's hard to tell with all these lights on, but think that's better. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments if it's not. Don't look on you cause you're drinking alone too. No. Do you guys see that? I just threw my beauty blender on the floor. Next, I don't have a powder from Tarte so I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier one if you don't mind. So just take some of that in the lid there, swirl that around. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes first. Then I'm going to take my, what do you call it? The multitask brush from Real Techniques. I'm just gonna pop that all over the rest of my face. Powder that shit down. Yeah, I really do think I prefer the foundation mixed, which kind of sucks. Cause then now I'm essentially wearing a 70 pound foundation, which isn't cheap, but 
I do quite like how it looks. It's not my favorite foundation in the whole world. I'd say as it's mixed, it's like top seven, maybe top five. It's not beating Huda Beauty. It's not beating Milani. It's not beating, I don't know, maybe top five. It might actually be in my top five. Tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Oh, let my cup of tea go cold again. Why do I do this? So next, I'm just gonna really, really quickly fill in my brows. Bit of clear brow gel, courtesy of Rimmel London. I'm just gonna fill in a few little gaps with my iconic London brow cushion. How many of you guys saw the Trippin' with Tarte vlogs? Tarte, if you ever happen to come across this video, just know that if you ever need someone to fill a space on a plane or in a fancy hotel room, call me. So I just went ahead off camera and filled in my brows and now we're gonna move on to sculpting out this beige face of mine. So what I'm gonna be using today is the Tartis Pro Glow To Go palette. I'm sure you've seen me use this contouring shade so many times, but I never really used the highlighter. I think I've used it like once on my face and never again. So I kind of can't remember how I feel about this. So we're gonna use that today as well. I'm just gonna take my Lux Powder Finish brush from Zoeva. And there's gonna be no surprises here because this is literally like my favorite contouring powder at the moment. Like, look at that. It's just the best. It's like cool tone, but it's not like dead looking. It's not something I'd necessarily bronze up my face with too much. You can bring it up a little bit higher, but I often find that when a contouring powder is like super cool tone, they just make me look bruised. Whereas this just kind of, just kind of does this, and this is what I want. Oh, and by the way, this normally retails, I think, for just over 20 pounds, which is still a good price, but I'm pretty sure they've got this, like maybe a mascara and a liquid lipstick or something. It's like a little trio or something. And I think it's like maybe close to 15 pounds or something. It's actually cheaper to buy the trio than it is to buy this on its own. It's in this sale at the moment. I'll try and link it down below. Hopefully it's still up by the time this video goes up, but I'm kind of tempted to stock up on another one. And by the way, if you don't know this, the Tarte products all smell like chocolate. They're powder products. It's like Too Faced chocolate bronzer. I think that's probably why I like it so much because it's got the smell and it's also got the color. It is very, very similar to the chocolate bronzer by Too Faced. In terms of shipping and stuff, because I do get a lot of questions about like customs and everything, um, I do buy everything straight from the Tarte website. And usually I'll buy things when it's like spend over, I think it was 40 pounds when I did my last order and you get free delivery. So next I'm gonna move on to a brand new product for me. This is one of their Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes. This one here is in the shade Insightful. I got it in a trio that I picked up recently. Looks like this, so as you can see, I've got the, um, what's it called? The Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I've also got the Lip Architect Lip Liner product thing and I got a blush, so I thought I would give those a go. So that is what it looks like. That actually looks like my perfect blush color. That's like pretty much all I need. So I'm gonna take the same, very pigmented. I'm gonna take the same brush that I used just to bronze up my skin a bit more with that contouring powder. I'm just gonna lightly dust that onto my cheeks. Ooh, that's really, really nice. I always hear a ton about their blushes. And you guys know I'm not much of a blush girl. I do tend to wear it every day, but like very, very minimally. I'm more of like a bronzer sort of person, but these are kind of nice. Hello there. Okay, I kind of get the hype about this. Next, we're gonna go back in with that Pro Glow To Go palette. And we've got two different highlight shades here. We have one in the shade Gleam. Swatch that there. Nice, nice, nice. And we have one in the shade Burst. I might actually layer them together or something. Yeah, I think what I might do is take the more golden one, and then if I wanna make it pop even more, I'll take the more like pinky icy one and just pop it on top. So I'm gonna take my Zoeva Lux Powder Fusion Brush, and let's see what you can do. Why haven't I been using this more? I've literally used this like once, and I use this contouring powder pretty much every single day of my life now. Ooh, that's Glossy, a little bit of fallout, but that doesn't bother me too much when it looks like this, cause that's kind of, that's kind of great. That is actually a banging highlight. So I'm now just gonna take the shade Gleam, which is like the more 
I see one just at the top there, and we'll see what that does. I'm honestly in shock about this, because like, I love this palette, and I've recommended this to you guys so many times, just for the chisel shade. But the fact you're getting like, two insane highlights with this as well. This has gone like, even higher in my books. Okay, if you guys like icy highlights, then Gleam is the way to go. I think it's a bit intense for me on like, the bulk of my face. But Cupid's bow, and I'm guessing on the tip of my nose as well. Let's give it a go. Hello. Oh, that's better. Okay, that is intense. Noted. Next up, something that I am very, very excited about is the Man Eater. I think it's the Man Eater 2 palette or something. I'm not sure, but I know they like relaunched this because it now has a black shade in it. So looks like that. Let me know if you've tried the other Man Eater palette, but as you can see, we've just got a, a bunch of like nice neutral shades. This one here, Saucy, is calling my name. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is take Purr to start off with. It's kind of like a cool tone brown. Ooh. Okay, they are ridiculously pigmented. And I'm gonna pop that in my crease. I'm not gonna do any kind of crazy makeup look or anything today. Just something sort of like every day. That honestly blended out so nicely. That took like zero effort, which is what I like in an eyeshadow. So next I'm gonna go in with the shade Saucy. That's like my kind of everyday crease shade. You can see just how pigmented they, they are. I just tap my brush into the pan. I didn't swirl it or anything like that. And this has happened. So I don't think I said, but I'm now just taking the shade Midnight just here and just popping that on the outer corner. And then, I think I'm actually gonna take a bit more of Midnight because I think I may create like a bit of a halo eye. Should I add some black? I feel like that's gonna be just insanely pigmented, but I kinda wanna do it. Let's just swatch it quickly. Nice, I literally tapped my finger in that. Yeah, I literally, like, I'm gonna swipe it now. You can see, like, that was just one swipe. And that is, that's pretty black. Oh my god, that is such an insane black eyeshadow. I did not want it to be that dark, but here we are. Here we are. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Saucy, which is like that warm brown shade that I used in the crease. And just kind of diffuse that a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with Purr, which was the first crease shade I used. I'm then gonna take another crease brush. Again, this one is clean. It's just completely stained with other shadows. And I'm gonna take the shade Passion, which is like this kind of nudie lid shade. And I'm just gonna go over like, the edges of everything, just so it's super, super blended out. Okay, I wasn't intending to go that dramatic, but here we are. So then I think I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and take the shade Saucy, and just start by popping that on my lower lash line. These shadows are so pigmented, but like, in a very easy way. Then I'll take Midnight, which is the slightly darker, kind of like, almost burgundy brown. So then I think I'm gonna pop a shimmer right on the center of my lid. So I have the shade Lace and we also have Foxy. We have Hypnotic here, which is like a shimmery kind of burgundy, which does look really, really nice. But the lip color that I have, I feel like I'm gonna need to keep it a bit more neutral. So which one should we go for? So that one there is Lace. And then you here, you're Foxy, if I can even swatch you, because my nails are so long right now. What do you guys think? I think I'm actually going with Foxy. So I'm just gonna take that same brush that I used to put the highlighter on my inner corner. Wow. Again, I barely touched that at all. And then before I go and blend all of that in, I'm just gonna diffuse the edges a little bit. That's really bloody nice. Then I'm just gonna take Lace and I'm gonna pop that on my brow bone just to see how that looks. It's stunning, obviously. So now, you guys know the drill by now, I'm not gonna bore you by doing the other eye. I'm gonna go off camera, do that, and I will check back with you guys for the rest of my face. All right, eyes are done, looking a bit more even now. So, for mascara, I'm going to be using their Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which I have heard so much about, literally for years now. Didn't even look at the wand. It's like a kind of plasticky, kind of fibery sort of wand. 
This better be good because I've heard so much hype about this literally before I was even on YouTube. Hello there. Let's let's go in for a closer look. It's got that kind of like dry, clumpy sort of formula to it, which sounds disgusting, but it is exactly what I look for in mascaras. Because it just makes my lashes look longer, makes them look more thick, makes them look more curled. And I'm just piling this on. I probably shouldn't because I think I do want to apply some falsies in a minute to try out a little tool that I've got, but I actually really, really like that. Well, looks like I'm going to be making another tart order soon. Okay, that mascara is really, really nice. So next what I have here is the Little Lash Helper and it's literally just a like false eyelash applicator. Looks like this. And what I'm gonna do is take my iconic lashes. I don't know what style these are in, but I'll try and leave a link to them below or something. They just look like that. So just kind of like standard wispy-ish lashes. So I'm just gluing these up with a little bit of duo. So then while that's waiting, I do have one of their liquid lipsticks that I think I'm gonna end this video on, but I do still wanna try this product out because I have it, so I may as well give it a go. This is the Lip, Lip Architect Lipstick and Liner. So one side you've got like a nudie shade. That looks quite nice, quite pink though. And then this is just like kind of crayony situation. Ooh, that's actually quite pretty. I was expecting it to be a little bit meh, but that's actually not bad. So what I'm gonna do quickly is just line my lips with this. It's quite fair. I don't know what shade this is in either. This is in the shade Muse. My lips are a little bit dried out from all that concealer, so I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of lip balm quickly. I mean, usually I do like something darker. It's okay, I don't hate it. I think it's just maybe a little bit too fair for me. I feel like if it was slightly darker, that would be quite nice. I feel like the lip colour on its own will be really nice, but the lip liner is just a little bit too fair for me, I think. Yeah, I'm not sold. I don't dislike it, but I'm not like completely sold. I'll just quickly try the actual lipstick. I think it's the same colour, to be fair. That's the sort of thing I'd like pop in the center of my lips, like with this lip, li 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 like if I had a liquid lipstick on or something, I'd maybe have this sort of thing in my handbag and just like touch it up throughout the day. Yeah, I really like the color of the lipstick. I just feel like I want to put a darker liner with it. I nearly forgot about my bloody lashes, okay. So what I'm gonna do is take my little lash helper. That makes a lot more sense than the other ones that I have, like these. I don't know why, but it just seems a bit fiddly. So this seems to make a little bit more sense to me. Let's see how easily these bad boys go on. I am not good at lashes, please bear that in mind. That is instantly so much easier. Oh, where have you been all my life? I suck so bad at lashes, but these I'm like, you know what? That ain't half bad even for me. Oh my God, that was so much easier. Okay, these are 100% worth the money. They come in at around, I think it was 12 pounds or something, which isn't the cheapest thing for literally like a set of tweezers that put fake hair on your face. But, oh my God, that has just made my life so much easier. So then I'm just gonna quickly blot over my lips, just as I always do. Go back in with some of my new favorite highlighter, which is the burst one mixed with a little bit of gleam. Just a, just a little bit. Keep it bow. Whoa, mama. Last but not least for my lips, I have a product that I've actually had for a really long time. I think I swatched it on my lips like once, just in a video, maybe when I did like a haul video for it or something. This is the Tartus Lip Paint in the shade Salty. And it's like, ooh, it's like a peachy nude. Mmm. I used to wear this sort of color all the time when I first got my hair like dyed gray and I loved it. And now just wearing this again, I'm like, I need to bring back more like peachy lips into my life. As far as how it applied, the doe foot is really, really nice. It's kind of like the Jeffree Star doe foot. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but it kind of like hugs your lip a little bit, which I can appreciate. It's not the most like, opaque liquid lipstick I've ever come across, but then again, I have got a pretty light shade, so I'd be interested to see how the other ones apply, because 
I mean, that is a pretty fair shade. So it's not gonna be like the most opaque thing in the world. It does feel like something on my lips that is completely matte, but it doesn't feel like thick or crusty or anything. It does just feel like a matte liquid lipstick. Doesn't really give me like too much of a harsh line around my lips or anything like that. Actually, where did I even put that? This guy, the um, lip, what's it called? Lip Architect. I wonder how that'll look over the top. That is actually a very, very similar color. Okay, that's actually really weird because I bought this color like months ago. I bought this like a couple of weeks ago and they are literally like pretty much the exact same color. So I can definitely like wear this and then throughout the day as my lips get a little bit more dry, pop this on the middle, sorted. I'm kind of obsessed with this look. With the highlighter, with the peachy lip, with the halo eye, kind of obsessed. All right guys, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I'm kind of obsessed. Like everything from mixing the two foundations together, obviously shape tape, we know I love. Contour, we know I love, but we did discover these new highlighters, which I mean, there are no words. It's literally like just gloss on the top of my skin. The eyeshadow palette, the Man Eater one, I am so, so impressed by like the pigmentation and the way that these guys just blended out. I'm Honestly, thinking to myself, I'm gonna need to pick up a few other Tarte palettes because this was such an easy palette to use. Mascara, loved it. Lash tweezers, loved them. Blusher, I don't normally like blushes, but I really, really liked this. I actually went in for a second coating of it. That's how much I like it. I never even go in for like one application of blusher, let alone two, so. That is a winner for me. And then obviously, like I said a few seconds ago, as for the lips, really, really loving this lip color. Really, really like the formula as well. Definitely wanna pick up a few other shades to see just how like sheer or opaque they are because I don't think I really gave it a fair try with this super light color. So let me know if you've tried those before. And yeah, overall, God damn it, Tarte. You may as well just take my money now. Obviously, there's been a lot of drama surrounding Tarte recently, and if you haven't already seen the video where I do test out the foundations, then I did talk about that more in that video, but I did still wanna try out Tarte makeup because I know it's a brand that you guys have been asking for for a while now. But all that drama aside, I am so, so in love with how this look turned out, and it's now currently 2 a.m. in the morning, so I'm gonna go wash this off now. Yep. As always, you guys, let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful, then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Also, if you don't already, then make sure you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter, which you can find just up here. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.